All right, uh, welcome back. Um, I think it's time to start learning uh, uh, how to do dynamic simulations in Aspen Hysis, and uh, this is going to be the very first uh, dynamic simulation tutorial. Um, as you can see in the problem description here, I have a feed of 90% uh, mole water, 10% mole air um, at 5000 kg per hour and 25 degrees of centigrade, which is pouring into the tank and um, uh, it's separated to air and water. Um, in addition to the tank, we have also two um, controllers, one which is on the left side and one uh, for the tank itself. Uh, the PID controller, the PID reverse controller for the feed um, is set to control the set point uh, or the feed mass flow of 5000 kg per hour as you can see here. Uh, and also this liquid level controller in the, in the, in the tank is also to set to 50% to control the liquid percentage inside the tank to be less than 50%, not more than 50%. Um, let's start uh, doing this dynamic simulation in Aspen Hysis and uh, go through it step by step. Uh, the first thing is that you have to make a new template, of course, and then the component list you have water and air and then the fluid package I'm going to use the famous Peng Robinson and then once uh, the component list and the fluid package is selected you go to simulation and then the first thing you can drag and drop is the tank and then in the tank you can double click let's give the stream some name for example for a stream i'll call one for the vapor outlet i'll call it three and the liquid in outlet two all right and then you just close it and then as you can see in the picture here you have three valves let's just add some controller valves controller valves one two and three and then you can just connect them together uh, i mean we can start from valve one uh, let's call the inlet feed and the outlet is going to be connected to stream one i'm going to do the same for valve number two so the inlet is stream number three the outlet is supposed to be air and then I'll do the same for valve. Actually, this is valve two. All right, I'll call it valve three, no problem. So the outlet is uh, is water, and the inlet is a stream number two. Okay. And uh, now you can see that all the lines are connected. Then I can specify the feed. So the feed is at 5 bar pressure at a temperature of 25 and the mass flow of 5000, right? And then you have to specify the composition. The water percentage was 90% and the air is 10%. Cool. So this is set up and if you can if you go back to conditions you can see uh, you can see that all the other parameters are populated automatically right and then uh, um, so you want to run a dynamic simulation I mean for doing that before jumping to the valves let's uh, look at this dynamic tab in the feeds uh, in the feed uh, so you can see that both pressure specification and flow specifications are active. Um, for this simulation, I would like to have the pressure as the driving force, not the mass flow or uh, this 5000 kg per hour, because this is something that I'm going to control later in the dynamic simulations. So my pressure is going to be my driving force. So I make sure that I have 
this press pressure specification active and then I am going to have one bar pressure drop across each valve so if this is going to be five bar then in the stream number one I'm going to have four bar uh, there is no pressure drop across the tank therefore I would have the same four bar for stream number two and three but then when it comes to air and water I will have another one pressure one bar pressure drop across these two valves okay so just double click on that I make sure that I make this active and then this is four bar and I'll do the same for this one so this is already four bar active so this one as well and then you go to this one so dynamics active pressure and this is going to be three bar one bar pressure drop and the same for this one okay now we can see that everything is uh turned green and it seems like that the steady state solution is converging uh, but before that let's just uh, click on the tank uh, the parameters are uh, zero pressure drop this is looking good and then I can just close it all right um, so the next step is really to add uh, the PID controllers um, I mean we had uh, two controllers right both of them were PID controllers one of them was liquid uh, uh, level controller and the other one was uh, a PID controller for controlling the, the, the feed uh, mass flow we can start from uh, the tank I can just double click on this one and then if you go to part uh, if you go to rating you can see that <clears throat> there are some uh, um, uh, specification or setup here so the volume of the tank is four cubic meter can specify that and then you can see that the diameter and the height is already uh, specified all right So in the dynamic part of the control, I mean the tank, uh, so you see that the vessel volume is four. Uh, I would like to have um, the liquid volume percent uh, to be zero in the initial stage. So at time zero, I am going to have no water whatsoever in the tank. So I'm going to pour the tank with water uh, from the empty space. So I'm going to put this to zero. And then there is no delta P and um, uh, then I'm going to add a level controller so I'll just click on that okay and then you can see that the, the level controller is already added to the tank right so I'll just close this one and then double click on the controller uh, now you can see that the process variable source is the liquid percent level so this is something that I'm going to control and um, the output target object is my actuator desired position this is this is basically the valve position how many percentage this valve is going to be open so that it controls the process variable of my tank which is liquid percent level so this is a PID controller that is going to keep the liquid percent level at 50% at the set point with opening and closing the actuator desired position. All right. So if you go to parameters then, so you can see that uh, this is going to be the direct PID controller, the mode I'm going to choose automatic. There are several modes here, there are manuals and other things but the set point as i said i'm going to have uh, 50 percent liquid level in the tank that is my desired set point in the tank and uh, 
this op which is the object uh, process variable and that was the actuator position initially is 50 percent you can see that here as well um yeah let's uh, look at this one again so there are some parameters that i need to specify for the pid controller for example the time integral for this controller is going to be five i'll change it to five minutes and then i have this kc of 0.5 okay and then i can just close it uh, there are some parameters for these two valves such as this cv which is 55 i'm going to straightly uh, putting it here so you can see that the cv which is the us gallon per minute this is the volume of the flow of water in in the us gallon per minute uh, which is going to which is going to go through the valve at 60 degrees of Fahrenheit and the DP of 1 PSI so this is a specification of the valve and uh, as you can see that was 55 right so I'm going to set for the upper one as well so to rating and then this is uh, this is actually good this is for air and it's 29 so I'm not going to change it but uh, for the other one for this valve the CV is 75 so let's uh, put this 75 before we forget it and then the last thing that I need to specify is uh, actually the PID controller for this one right so I go back to this uh, this one and then I go I look for a controller and there is one called PID controller I drag and drop it here and then you can just close this okay double click on that okay so the process variable source here is going to be uh, mass flow of the feed right so we are going to control the mass flow so you select this one and then your object is going to be again the actuator position so the output target object is going to be valve 100 and actuator desired position you just select it okay cool so the parameters for this PID controller this is again going to be uh, automatic and then uh, there are some parameters such as uh, minutes and then kc of 0.5 again and then i have to specify this for example minimum and maximum from 0 to 7000 kilogram per hour and then your sp of 5000 okay this is looking good and your op at uh, current situation is only 50 percent fine then you have to go to dynamics and just click on dynamics mode click yes then Yeah, there are some messages then you just click on make changes that is fine and then you click finish and then in the integrator you specify for um, for example how many minutes you want to run this simulation I put 100 minutes uh, acceleration of one is going to be really fast so I'll just make it to point one in order to see the changes and uh, I think that's it for the integrator. Um, I also like to monitor uh, the liquid uh, content in the tank, for example. For that, I can click on strip chart. Can make a new one. Then here you can add a variable, and that is going to be for the tank, which was. Uh, uh, this will be 100 right 
and then I search for liquid uh, volume percentage cool so if you click on that and then you click done you can also um, track the set points I mean you can add uh, uh, LIC controller and just click uh, look for set point SP then you click OK so what I'm going to plot is the liquid volume percentage in the tank versus the SP which is 50% right and then you click on display and now you are ready to start your simulation so you go to integrator again and then let's uh, fit it a little bit better and then you just click on start are you sure you want to switch to dynamics yes right great now you can see that the simulation is already finished at 100 minutes and uh, what you really observed was uh, what you really observe here is the red line is your liquid content which is zero at time zero and then uh, it is opening and closing the valve and therefore you are having more liquid in the tank and then you can see the, the PID controller is fixing this uh, liquid content at 50% toward the end of simulation. I hope uh, you have enjoyed this uh, very first uh, dynamic simulation in Aspen Heises. We will come back with more tutorials later. 